Okay, so welcome back, and now let's do another example here. And so this is an application example. So it says, the position of a particle as time t is given by this position function. S of t is equal to tangent inverse of 1 over t for t greater than or equal to 1 half. It says, find the velocity of the particle at t equal to 1. All right. So we want to find the velocity of the particle at t equal to 1. So first of all, we need to find the velocity function, which is the derivative of the position function. So now, again, it's the uh, derivative of the outside. So the derivative of the outside is going to be 1 over... Um, 1 plus x squared, or in this case, the function squared, so 1 over t quantity squared, times the derivative of the inside function, which is 1 over t. Okay, now how do we do 1 over t? Well, remember, it's t to the negative 1 power, so this is going to be negative what? 1 over t squared. Okay? So again, just remember... Remember the power rule, okay, for negative exponents. Okay, so now we're going to simplify this. So this is going to equal uh, what? Well, this is going to be negative, and so we get 1 over, what do we get? We get 1 over uh, t squared times 1 plus and then this is going to be 1 over t squared. 1 over t squared. Okay? And then if I distribute this, this is actually going to simplify uh, more. So this will be negative. And then here I'm going to get t squared plus 1. Right? So this is going to, when I distribute, I'm going to get t squared plus 1. So now that becomes the result of my velocity function. Okay, so now. Now they want to evaluate this velocity function at t equal to 1. Well, that means v of 1 equals 1 over 1 plus 1, or 1 half. And so that is the velocity, or oh, negative, forgot my negative, negative 1 half. So, that's it. Have a great day.